Let's reset the tempo of this sample to its original speed. It's always displayed up here. Holding down Control or Command on the Mac and clicking on the tempo dial automatically resets it. The same is true for any of the adjustment dials in Recycle. Now let's go ahead and start changing the actual sound of the sample. Let's change the pitch. Let's set the pitch to around minus two. Notice that while the pitch increases and decreases, the tempo of the sample remains unchanged. The amount you affect the pitch is displayed in semitones, also known as half steps. Hold shift to make finer adjustments to the pitch. This is also true of any of the dial controls in Recycle. Next to the pitch control is gain. This will affect the overall volume of the sample. This can be very useful when applying EQ and other effects, as I will show later, that may boost loud portions of your sample beyond the loudness threshold, causing your sample to distort. If at any time you've nearly found the sound you're looking for, but the level meter indicates that your sound is too loud and therefore clipping, you should use the processing gain dial to reduce the overall volume. Next is the gate sensitivity. Gate sensitivity could be described as a type of noise gate. It's triggered or opened at the start of every slice and closes for any material in each slice that falls below a set threshold. As you raise the threshold, you'll notice parts of your sample disappear. They are actually just being gated out. Keep in mind that the gated out material is not exported when you save. Other than creating some cool effects, you can use gating to make sure silent portions of each slice are left out of the save file. To manually choose what slices are left out of the sample entirely, select any slices you want to leave out and toggle on Silent Selected using this button or from the Processes menu above. For some real fun, let's check out the powerful effects processors built right into Recycle. 